Jupiter is a celestial body of superlatives. Gigantic, royal, and yet quite softly clad in a cloud layer. Jupiter is the fifth planet in the solar system and is separated from us only by Mars. Together with Saturn, it forms the border of the old inner planets. These were already known to our ancestors because they are invisible to the naked eye or the simplest telescopes. If you would like to leave Earth with us to travel to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, then show us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin the journey to the mysterious Jupiter. The Giant of the Solar System Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. This much should be known. But the gigantism does not stop there. In addition to its size, it also has other remarkable records. One of them is its mass. Unbelievable, actually. Although, it is a gas giant, and these are generally considered not very dense and massive. But the size makes up for it. Jupiter manages to be 318 times more massive than the Earth. If one would add up the mass of all other planets of our solar system, Jupiter would still have 2.5 times more. At the same time, it is moving at a limit that leaves researchers nothing but astonishment. If Jupiter had just a little more mass, it would begin to shrink due to its density. But it remains what it is, dignified, great, and sublime. Jupiter could have been a star. Among astronomers, Jupiter is also called the unborn star. In fact, it resembles the Sun in its composition. It is rich in hydrogen and helium. This brings it close to the celestial bodies that astronomers call brown dwarfs, something like unborn stars. Although, besides its chemical composition, Jupiter would need a lot more to shine as brightly as a star. The fusion processes that make the enormous light discharges of the stars possible are only possible under certain conditions. And Jupiter doesn't have them. There is a lack of mass. Although it is the most massive planet in the solar system, it would still need 70 to 80 times more mass to build up enough pressure to ignite the fusion processes. A king among the gods. Being Jupiter, now that means something. After all, the namesake of the planet was none other than the king of the gods. The Roman god king Jupiter corresponds to the father of the gods, Zeus, in Greek mythology. Similarly highly placed deities from other cultures are the Indian Indra and the Nordic Thor. Jupiter was considered a deity of happiness, jovial, friendly, and enjoying life to the fullest. Accordingly, the planet Jupiter is also called the Great Happiness in Astrology. Whoever pays homage to Jupiter, or has Jupiter as an astrological godfather, Sagittarius and Pisces, for example, happiness should always be close on his heels. The people of Jupiter are considered to be friendly, bon vivant, just like the god. No one rotates as fast as him. For being so huge and massive, Jupiter is always fast on the move. Even at its rotational speed, it leaves all other planets in the solar system behind. Jupiter needs just 10 hours to rotate once around its own axis. This corresponds to a speed of 12.6 kilometers per second. By comparison, our Earth is spinning around its own axis at a speed of just 464 meters per second. Jupiter affords a ring system. Here, Jupiter strikes the more reserved tones. As far as its rings are concerned, its neighbor Saturn is hardly to be surpassed. The fine ring system was also discovered late. Only with the best telescopes and space probe technology, the fine, dust rings became visible. The innermost ring, also known as a halo, has clearly recognizable particles. A particularly bright light shines from the middle ring. The outermost ring is the weakest and hardly noticeable. Jupiter's ring system has a total diameter of more than 640,000 kilometers. Here, too, 
the father of the gods is not quite on par with Saturn this time. Saturn's ring system has a diameter of more than one million kilometers. Jupiter is explored by Juno. In mythology, they were a couple. Juno was considered the Roman goddess of birth, marriage, and care. She was the wife of Jupiter, and our name of the month, June, is derived from her. How else should NASA have named the first Jupiter spacecraft? Juno took off from the Cape Canaveral Missile Base on August 5, 2011. Almost five years later, it finally reached its orbit around Jupiter. In addition to exploring the magnetic field, Juno is meant to find out whether the gas giant has a solid core. For years, the space probe has been measuring the surface of the planet and providing unique images. On board, Juno, which costs around 700 million US dollars, are the finest measuring instruments. In addition to a special radiation protected camera, the spacecraft houses instruments for measuring plasma and radio waves, a magnetometer, and a measuring device for documenting Jupiter's aurora borealis. Jupiter is generally considered to be well visited. In addition to Juno, Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11, both in 1974, Voyager 1 and 2 in 1979, Ulysses 1992, and Galileo 1995 have already been near Jupiter. The last visitors before Juno were the Saturn probe Cassini in 2000, and finally the Pluto probe New Horizons in 2007. Jupiter's Colorful Cloud Protection The gas giant wraps itself in a cloud layer about 50 kilometers thick. This consists largely of ammonia crystals, which are scattered in different densities in separate layers of the cloud cover. Storms below the cloud cover cause fields to shift at times, and together with the sunlight, form fascinatingly luminous vortices. By the way, the mythological god Jupiter is also said to have surrounded himself with a veil of clouds. With the clouds, he literally wanted to conceal his misdeeds. Jupiter was not always as decent as his wife would have liked him to be. He had numerous affairs and did not leave out any intrigue in the heaven of the gods. Stupidly for Jupiter, Juno was the only one who could see through his veil of clouds, so there was no need for secrecy. But Juno forgave her king quite fast most of the time. The similarities between mythology and modern space exploration are fascinating. The astronomers of Rome could see Jupiter, but with their technology, they could not have known anything about the clouds that actually existed. The Bizarre Magnetic Field of Jupiter At the magnetosphere, Jupiter blows itself up again. After all, it expands its magnetic field so far that it is the second largest after the solar magnetosphere. On the side facing the Sun, the magnetic field extends 5 to 7 million kilometers into space. On the side facing away from the Sun, it is up to 700 million kilometers. This means that it extends beyond the orbit of Saturn. The magnetic field of Jupiter is about 20 times stronger than that of the Earth. It also shows strong irregularities. At least one small peculiarity is at work on it. Jupiter's magnetic north pole is located near its geographic south pole. With the help of the Juno space probe, scientists are trying to find out whether this circumstance and the extreme rotational speed are connected. The Red Spot of the Gas Giant Jupiter's discernible surface shows a beautiful picture of marbled pastel shades between yellow, ochre, beige, and blue-gray. In the middle, there is a striking orange-red spot. Whoever looks at Jupiter must be aware that he does not see a solid surface. We only see the upper layers of gas and clouds, which seem like a solid surface. So it seems that the red spot is not a mountain range, sea, or any other material formation, but a storm. With the help of Juno, experts were able to calculate that this storm in Jupiter's atmosphere is at least 150 years old, maybe even more than 300 years old. Inside the patch, winds are raging at speeds of an incredible 700 kilometers per hour. Here, 
Storms are events of a few hours and very rarely reach maximum speeds of 250 kilometers per hour or a little more. On Earth, strong storms require air currents and temperature gradients over oceans to develop. Since there are no comparable waters in Jupiter, storms must occur differently there. The low pressure system that created the red spot must have been many times larger than our Earth. The Mysterious Moons of Jupiter Jupiter has 67 officially confirmed moons. The largest and best known of these are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. However, experts suspect that the gas giant has around 200 moons and satellite-like formations orbiting around it. The first and largest moons were discovered and documented in 1975 by the Pioneer 10 space probe. Researchers have recently become particularly interested in Ganymede. With a diameter of 5,262 kilometers, it is the largest moon in the solar system and even larger than the planet Mercury. But that's not all. Researchers believe that Ganymede has large deposits of salt water. The problem is that no one has yet discovered or seen them for sure. So far, everything is based on mathematical assumptions. If this suspicion were confirmed, Ganymede would be a safe candidate for extraterrestrial life within our solar system. The fact that Ganymede is the only moon with a distinct magnetic field and a thin atmosphere further fuels the hopes of the researchers. In order to investigate the exact composition of the moon, a space probe would have to be constructed that could move closer and even land on Ganymede. If you too would like to take a look now and see the father of the gods with your own eyes, it is quite simple. Jupiter is the third brightest object in the solar system after Venus and the Moon. Either you search a bit or look on a current star map for Jupiter's exact position. What do you think now about the largest planet and king of gods in the solar system? Would you like to travel there and see the gas giant with your own eyes? Do you think that more manned flights into space will be possible soon? Let us know your opinion, as always, via the comment section.